the first thing we did, of course, was look at, you know, where are the holes in our policy, where are the holes in our oversight. Police Chief Chuck Jordan took over amid one of the darkest times in the police department's history. Last summer, five officers were indicted. This after Detective J.J. Gray and former ATF agent Brandon McFadden pleaded guilty to corruption charges. While Harold Wells was convicted, two other officers were acquitted. The jury is still deliberating the fate of officers Bill Yelton and Jeff Henderson. Jordan says the federal investigation brought to light a need for changes to department policy in two areas, the handling of confidential informants and cash. He says now all informants are documented. We'll do uh, checkups on them periodically to make sure they're still viable informants. We'll make sure uh, what cases they're working on. Supervisors will look at that. Um, they'll just be, again, reaffirmed as informants on a regular basis. Jordan also made sure that cash seizures of any kind are better documented and supervised. We also looked at cash handling. Uh, how, do we, how do we collect cash, uh, forfeiture cash, how do we, or any cash? Uh, what kind of oversight is it? Who has to actually document that this was turned in in the su supervisory chain of command? And uh, so we made, we made some big changes uh, in both of those areas. The chief hopes these changes will bring added protection to his officers. Our officers don't have tainted badges. We had a few people that did some, some what I think to be horrific things. We have some other officers who have been accused that uh, that hasn't been proven. Um, but I will tell you that the, the rank and file of our police department, some of the finest men and police officers in the country, they wouldn't consider doing anything unethical.